Hi, I'm Tina from Prep 101. In this video, I'm going to review tree diagrams. Tree diagrams will be used throughout the course, so it's very important that you learn them thoroughly. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about tree diagrams. And they're going to come throughout the whole course. So in Unit 1, they're a little bit easier sometimes because you just have to find how many sequences there are. And Unit 2, we're going to put probabilities in the trees, so that makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, and then in Unit 3, we'll talk at the end of the course, we'll talk about how to find the mean and the variance, the standard deviation, things like that. So for Unit 1, there is an example here. It says, Example 1, Mackenzie takes marbles from a bag without replacement, so she's not putting them back in. Then she draws a second marble, and she'll keep doing this until she obtains a white marble. How many possible sequences are there? Okay, so what I want to look at is how many marbles does she have here? She has one, two, three, four black, and one, two, three, four, five white. So you don't need to write the question down. Just write down that you have four black and five white. And the key is that she keeps going until you get a white. So this is what I call a funny shaped tree because it's not just um, branching out that we can get black or white, black or white. If that's what we were doing, if we were just take a marble out, get black or white, take a marble out, get black or white, then our tree would look like that. And that's a common tree throughout the course as well, where you're taking two marbles out. But this one says, keep going until you get a white. And so it's going to look a lot different. So for example, we can get a white right away. And I put a little X there to say that that's finished. That portion of the tree is done. If we get a white, we're finished. We could also get a black first and then get a white. And that would be another way to get a white first. Black first, then white. We could get two black and then get the white we want. We could get three black and then the white we want. Or we could take out all four blacks and then get the white. We know that after four blacks, there would be no blacks left. And so we'd have to get a white. Now, if you're looking at this and saying we got all five whites, you have to change your thinking because this is all the ways to get the first white. We've only ever gotten one white. So for example, we can get white right away. We can get black, then white. We can get black, black, then white. We can get black, 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 white. Or we can get all four blacks and then our white. Now you don't have, by any means need to write this out, but you just need to understand that those are the ways to get the five different possibilities or five sequences. So those are all the five ways that we can get our first white. So one, two, three, four, five X's, or you can write it the cases, one, two, three, four, five. So the answer on the exam would be a circle five. There are five different sequences here. So that is an easy tree um, that comes up in this course quite a bit. Okay, so this is a larger tree where we have three different things going on and we have yes or no to each of the three things. So in this case, we're talking about, as we scan through, pepperoni, mushroom, and bacon. So I always make my tree in the order that they come up in the questions. So I would say you can have pepperoni or no pepperoni, mushroom or no mushroom, and then we can have bacon or no bacon. So draw your tree out so that you can fill in all the numbers as you go along. So that would be what our tree looks like. And sometimes on the exam, they'll give you the tree drawn and you'll just fill in the numbers. So it depends on the exam question and it depends whether it's a multiple choice or a long answer question. So it says, Avni works at a pizza place that sells 100 pizzas on a particular evening. So the 100, I would put out in front here because that's our total. Now, if you have the question in front of you um, during prep or during the exam, you can cross out the numbers as you use them. So she records the toppings and finds that 45 of the pizzas had pepperoni. So 45 had pepperoni would go where here in our tree? Well, P is pepperoni, and P complement is no pepperoni, so we have 45. And that means that if there's 100 pizzas sold and 45 had pepperoni, then 55 don't have pepperoni. So, keep reading, 20 had mushroom and bacon. Okay, so where is mushroom and bacon? There's actually two places where we can have mushroom and bacon. We can have pepperoni and mushroom and bacon, and we can have no pepperoni and mushroom and bacon. All we know at this point is that that total is 20 that had mushroom and bacon. 
Okay, keep reading. Five pizzas had all three and four had none. All three toppings means yes to pepperoni and yes to mushrooms and yes to bacon. So we have to be at the far right if we're talking about yes to all the toppings. And it's at the top because it's yes, yes, yes. Now, none of the toppings means no pepperoni and no mushroom and no bacon. So where would you put the four here? Well, no pepperoni and no mushroom and no bacon. So it would go at the far right but at the bottom. Now, we've got this five filled in here. So from the 20, we can say this would be 15 to total the 20. Okay, 20 pizzas had mushroom but no pepperoni. 20, yes to mushroom but no to pepperoni. Well, if we look at our tree, pepperoni and no pepperoni comes first. So if we want not pepperoni, we go down. And we want yes to mushrooms, we go up. And that would be our 20. And then there's one more number here. 30 pizzas had mushrooms. Okay, so think about where had mushrooms would go. 30 pizzas have mushrooms. Well, that would be here and here. So that has to total 30, so that would be 10. Now we do have that 55 had bacon, but we're going to leave that for a minute and fill in the rest of our tree so that we can finish here. So 45 breaks into 10 plus 35. 10 is 5 plus 5. Down at the bottom, 20 is 15 plus 5. 55 is 20 plus 35. And 35 is 4 plus 31. So now we can say, okay, our total for all of the bacon, there are four of them, and one is unknown. The total is 31 here, plus 15 here, plus five. So that's 51, and it says we have 55 with bacon. So 55 minus 51 leaves four missing right there. And then our last number to fill in is 35 is four plus 31. So the question is, in part A, how many pizzas had pepperoni and mushroom? So look at your tree. Where do you think pepperoni and mushroom would be? Pepperoni and mushroom. Well, here's pepperoni, and here's pepperoni and mushroom. So for part A, the answer would be 10. For part B, pepperoni and bacon, but not mushroom. So yes to pepperoni, yes to bacon, but no to mushroom. See if you can find that in your tree. So we want yes to pepperoni, no to mushroom, but yes to bacon. So that would be right here in our tree. So that would be four. Okay, we're going to do one more tree here. And I'm just going to draw it for you. And so the tree is either A or not A, B or not B from each of them, and then C or not C. So take a minute and draw that out and we're going to fill in the numbers and then I'm going to have you fill it out. So the numbers that are given are 150 at the front. On A we have 85. On the bottom B complement we have 35 and on the very top we have 20. And then we have a 30 up here on top of B, not A, and in B. We have a 10 here and a 12 on the very bottom. And the question also says number in C is 70. So take a minute and let's see how much of the tree you can fill out here. You can pause the video and fill out what you can. Okay, so 150 would be 85 plus 65. 65 would be 30 plus 35. 35 would be 12 plus 23. 30 is 10 plus 20. 85 is 35 plus 50. 50 is 20 and 30. And then we can use the fact that the number in C here is 70. So we've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those are all in C. And it adds up to 70. So we have 20, 10, and 23. So we have 70 minus 53 would leave 17. And then 35 would be 17 plus 18. So that's what our tree looks like. And I'm going to keep referring to the tree when we answer a whole bunch of questions about it. So I'll be moving it back and forth. 
as we do the, the questions. So the first one is, what's the number in not C? The number not in C. So part A, the number not in C, well, what do you think that would be? Look at your tree. Well, there are four places to be not in C. We have the 30 here, we have the 18 here, we have the 20, and we have the 12. And all of those are not in C. So 30 plus 18 plus 20 plus 12. So that would be 80. Part B, I want you to find the number that are in B and C. The number that are in B and C. So look at your tree. What's in B and C at the same time? B and C. So if we stop here, that's in A and B, but it doesn't have to do with C yet. So we have to go further to the right. This would be in B and C. It's in A and B and C, but it's in B and C. And there's another spot we're in B and C, and that's right here. So if we're talking about C, we have to be at the far right. So it'd be 20 plus 10. So 30 would be our total for part B. Okay, number A union C. So A union C is in A or in C or both. In A or C or both. So look at your tree. First of all, which one's at the front, A or C? Well, in our tree, A is at the front. So if I add A, I have 85. So that's what's in A. Now there are no more A's anywhere else, okay? So the thing we have to keep in mind is number one, we don't wanna use union formulas in trees because it usually makes people more confused and it complicates things. So don't use a union formula in a tree. But what we do wanna do is we wanna add any C's, but not the ones we've already counted. So to be careful, if we count A as 85, we already have these two C's. The 20 and the 17 are already in that 85. So if you count 20 plus 17, you're double counting and you're gonna get the answer wrong. So be careful, go down here, any C's that you haven't yet counted in A. Well, we have the 10 and we have the 23. So we wanna make sure to make a note here that these are any C not yet counted in A. And that's how we get our answer there. And this is 118. Okay, so part D, I want you to find the number in B. Number in B. So look back at your tree. And where are number in B? Where would I find that? Well, this is in A and B, but it's in B, and this is not A and B. Both of these make up what's in B. So we have 50 plus 30. Okay, and one more hard one for you. Number B union C. So write down what that means and see if you can find it in your tree. So this is in B or in C or both. And pause for a minute and try it and see if you can get it. So in B, well, when we want to add what's in B, we've got this is in B and this is in B. Now, be careful. This C is already counted in the B and so is this one. We don't want to count the not C's because the C complements are not in C at all. We want in B and also anything that could be in C. So in B or in C or in both, okay? So we count everything in B, that's 50 and 30. Don't count the C here because it's already in the 50. Don't count the C here, it's already in the 30. Where are the other C's that we need that we haven't counted yet? We need this C right here, the 17, it's not inside a B. And we need this C right here, the 23, it's also not in a B, it's in a B complement. Okay, so we add all of those up. So in B, we have 50 at the top, and then we have 17 that wasn't inside a B and then we have 30 at the bottom, and then a 23. And that adds up to 120. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, see more videos in this playlist. Don't forget to join the Facebook Study Hub. Use the link in the video description box. 
Also, I hope to see you at my prep sessions where I'll show you lots of tricks and how to ace your exam. I'll go through every problem that you need to solve and you'll solve them with confidence by the end of my prep sessions. Many of our prep sessions are free, so go to prep101.com now for more details and to sign up. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.